because as someone who is passionate about great leaders, I love to be down there. So just can y'all bear with me? Yeah. There may be a moment where I just jump off the stage and just get <laughs> to y'all. But so first, let me just say this. Um, I am so incredibly thankful and appreciative of each of you. I really want you to understand the impact that each of you are having in not only the future of the city, Milwaukee, the state of Wisconsin, this country, but when you look at all the people in this room that are not wearing a red jacket, you are also impacting them. Whether they are your parents, relative friends, mentor supporters, as a parent, I can tell you that we, we only want our children to do great things. And as I look and I see some of the smiling faces of parents on behalf of them, thank you. The first things I'm gonna talk about, I'm gonna talk about three things today. And I've got 10 minutes and I know somebody, Kate's gonna keep me accountable. Um, the first thing I'm gonna talk about is thank you. The second thing I'm going to discuss with you is graduation, and then I'm going to close out with talking about what are you prepared to do. Now every morning when you wake up and you put on the red jacket and you go to your appropriate school, you are in a mindset of serving. You're in a mindset of giving, leading, encouraging, and oftentimes when you are in a servant leadership role, you feel as though you can't be vulnerable. You feel as though you can't show the struggles that you're going through. And I just want to stand here in front of you as someone who was 20 something maybe a week ago. No, I'm 43. <laughs> but I know, I know what it's like when you wake up in the morning and you wanna be great but there's a lot of pressure. You may not have a lot of money in your bank account, but you know you still have to get up and give. You may have some unhealthy relationships where you feel as though people are constantly pulling from you and don't understand, but you still go out and you give your best. You may also feel that when you look in the mirror, you're not happy with the physical appearances of what you look like. And ladies, I know especially, we're always pressured to look a certain way. Well, I want to tell you right now that in addition to telling you, thank you, I want you to understand that your work, your sacrifices, the struggles that you are going through now, in addition to being great, and always giving are not in vain. I am a living, breathing testimony of what happens when you surround your people, yourself with people who not only are constantly pulling from you, but also believing in you. This cohort that you're in, this core that you're in, I want you to embrace it. I want you to sustain this type of feeling that you get when you're around people that share the same denomination of support, upliftment. I want you to embrace that. I want you to continue with or without the red jacket in any and every situation that you experience. Now, I want to talk about graduation. And when you think about graduation, oftentimes there is a diploma or a degree associated with graduation. That's not what we're here for today. We're here to celebrate what's going to happen now that you have completed these hours of service and you've given selflessly your time, your energy, and your love. The two most important things that you can give to anyone as part of love is food and education. I'm gonna say that again. The two most important things that you can give anyone as part of unconditional love is food and education. Now, although we're not feeding anyone here at City Year, I want you to understand the magnitude of the love and the power that you are providing 
every day for the students that you impact. And when you think about graduation, I want you to think about if anyone is familiar with an artist by the name of Kanye West. Kanye West released an album in 2007. Look at some of the parents. Oh, Lord, I hope she ain't gonna talk about Kanye West. <laughs> in 2007, Kanye West released the album titled Graduation, and it went on to sell over 12 million records, almost a million during the first week of its release. And on the cover of the album, you see his signature teddy bear skyrocketing outside of a building. And the question is, now what? So as you are wearing these beautiful red jackets and you reflect on all of the contributions that you have made, I want you to embrace this experience of now what? What am I prepared to do? What is the next step of this level of greatness that I've accomplished? It does not stop today. And I want you to make sure that the people that you are surrounding yourself with, just as much as you has, have been surrounding the students that you work with, believe in you. Believe in your greatness just as much as you do. And I want you to also be mindful of the people that you accept advice from because there's a lot of people out there that are telling you things. Accept advice from people that are doing what you do or even doing what you do greater. That's what graduation is all about. Surround yourself with people who not only want you to be good, but want you to be dope. I'm gonna say that again. You're gonna start experiencing now that you're on this pathway to greatness, based on what you've accomplished, part of graduation is also being very mindful of the people that want to see you continue to be great and not just be good. So if you feel something in your gut telling you that this person or these people don't want to continue to see me be great, take out your smartphone, click on their name, and hit delete. Okay. Sometimes you may even have to hit block. Now, I want to close the remarks with a focus on what are you prepared to do next. A lot of you, as you're celebrating this graduation, you're thinking, okay, now what? And I want you to understand that in terms of the distinct experience of progression as part of your graduation, what are you prepared to do? What are you prepared to do when you think about what happens next? There is something inside of you, inside of your gut, telling you what you would do if money were no object. And as you have accomplished this significant act of service to the young people, what does that look like next for you? What are you prepared to do to continue to represent the color of red? Do you know that when people see the color red, they're enthused? Do you know that it stimulates energy? Do you know that the color red encourages action and confidence? It provides a sense of protection from fears and anxiety. And that is what you have demonstrated, whether you have the jacket on or not, every day as part of this experience. Now that you understand that, what are you prepared to do? There's a movie, many of you probably haven't seen it. It's called The Untouchables. It was a movie based on Al Capone. And there was a character that represented the FBI. They were trying to just arrest Al Capone and put him to jail. And there's a scene where he was having a lot of trouble. And he was in a church praying. And there was a character played by Sean Connery, some of the older people out there, y'all with me? Sean Connery, James Bond. And as Kevin Costner, his character, 
was expressing his frustration, Sean Connery looked at him and said, what are you prepared to do? Now that we have worked with over 8,000 students, can we make it 10,000? Now that you have a sense of accomplishment, of service, what does that look like for you? That is the true definition of graduation. On behalf of everyone in this room, I want you to know that we believe in you. We thank you. We appreciate you. Whatever that good fight that you feel looks and feels like to you, keep doing it. Keep surrounding yourself with people that make you feel the same way as everybody in this room with the red jacket. Know your worth. Know your greatness. Know your purpose. Tell people how to get the best out of you. If you're someone that thrives when you wear that red jacket, wear it every day. Understand that we, as parents, as leaders in this city, would not be where we are if we're not for selfless leaders such as yourself. So when you go to bed tonight, ask yourself, what am I prepared to do as part of this experience of graduation? And again, most importantly, thank you. Thank you for everything that you have done. Thank you for everything that you continue to do. And I want everyone to just quickly stand up. City here, stand up. And I want you to look to the person on your right side and your left. And now I want you to turn around and look at the people that are behind you. That, now, cohort, cohort nine, this is the last time you will ever consume yourself worrying about who's behind you or who's next to you. That's the first action. Look forward. We love you.